that employment in December will be down to 4.1, another percentage drop. Well, and he's the one who caused this whole damn steel strike. I found out about word says. How's that? He called a meeting uh, to get in all the steel people to tell them that the guidelines ought to change from 3.2 to 3.8 or something. It scared the hell out of them. They decided to get in their price increase on the 6th. Damn. One of them told me the companies all got together and they decided they were going to get price increases on bar and on different types of stuff. And they were going to come down and see Clark Clifford this week. And Clark was going to go see McNamara. And they were going to make an announcement that it was satisfactory to Clark and McNamara that they would have an adjustment. And they would adjust bars upward and they'd adjust other things downward. And the net would be very inconsequential. It wasn't for profit purposes, it was for competitive purposes. And it would be to save us balance payments instead of run us. And it was going to cut stuff on the West Coast to compete with the Japs. And we were going to be real competitive. And they had it all worked up nice. And Bethlehem wasn't in on it. And Bethlehem, the day before it happened, had made this damn announcement. And, but they said the thing that scared them into it was Wirtz was calling a meeting, and they wanted to get under the wire with this before Wirtz is meeting on the sex. So for God's sakes, find out from Wirtz what he was going to do, and let's coordinate there. All These right. wild-eyed professors calling around, no wonder he can't hold anything. Uh, I've got, to, I've spent a lot of time with uh, Abe and Armco and uh, with George Brown, and he's trying to get hold of Roger Blau now, and I've talked to Ed Weisel once, but I'm trying to get him back a second time. Talked to McNamara three times, but the net of it is we're going to try to say, please don't act until the Presidential Liaison Committee can come see the President. That's number one. And if you can't, don't act until we can see the steel people with the President, number two. Number three, uh, let us set up a committee on dumping and let us uh, uh, take a good, careful look at uh, all what you need in the way of stockpile stuff that we can help you with. And let's have a good liaison procedure here. And uh, then if all that fails, then say, let us write your announcement. And in effect, say that you'll raise prices two dollars and a half instead of five, two and a half on the average. But you're going to reduce them on the West Coast nine dollars a ton, uh, but not on as much volume. But the net revenue of the company will be inconsequential. Mm -hmm. well, I hope it works. I don't think any of them will work, but that's what we're trying. I've got Bruce Bissett. You won't sit in here. You make these damn departments for me, and you got to go and take care of a sick baby. Yeah. You, you heard what Senator Wirtz told me one time. said, always, if you're going to put the knife in his jugular, be sure you cut it from ear to ear, and then be sure that he's kicked the last time. And then you be upstairs in bed when they walk in the living room <laughs> rug and let somebody else be holding the knife. Don't you ever be there, and that's where you are. You always get me to cut the jugular, and then you are off with the baby playing in the nursery or at Sunday school or, or at a cheap movie somewhere. All right, sir. All right, bye. Thank you.